Good morning, YouTube. Today, we're going to give this Lamborghini Murcielago a bath. So, are you recording all of the nefarious activities? If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan, and this is my garage, and this channel is all about the supercar ownership experience. And you're probably thinking, what's so special about washing a Lamborghini Murcielago? Well, this is the Roadster. In order to wash the Roadster, we need to put the convertible top onto the car. And I'm going to show you exactly why this thing is just batshit crazy and makes absolutely no sense. This is the wonderful world of Lamborghini back when Lamborghini was Lamborghini before it totally became Audi. Nothing makes sense. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, YouTube, so here is where the top needs to go. That is part of the top. Uh, there's actually more top in the front. It's gonna take uh, two hands, so I'm gonna have to set up the camera and show you exactly what to do. But, uh, well, so first of all, there's these little trap doors, see? You gotta pop open these doors that expose these holes, all right? And uh, there's part of this that goes in there. There's also like these buttons. Uh, oh yeah, we gotta open up the rear trunk, uh, the, the engine compartment. So let's uh, get started here. Um, yes, so first things first. Oh yes, I open the door and now the alarm's gonna go off if I don't get the key. Where's the key? Oh no, it's inside. Hold on, quick. All right, and there. Huh, that's right, I almost had the alarm go off. All right, so first things first, we gotta pop, pull that latch, which releases this guy, which in order to open this all the way, hands here two hands. okay there you gotta open this up there's a little there a little switch you gotta pull that open because we need to expose these little buttons yes because you know yeah oh and let's pull the frunk as long as we're here there's the frunk okay oh yeah we can shut the door now and uh, in the frunk we've got a couple parts that we need yeah, these guys are here. I mean, these two bars. We'll just um, set them over here. Oh, yep, yeah, the shock. Yes, yeah, don't work on that. Okay, we'll just set those there for now. Okay, let me uh, put the camera down. All right, so this guy. All right, here's our convertible top. It's stuck on something. Hold on. There, okay. So, first thing we're gonna do is put those into that hole and that hole. Okay. And, all right. Ooh, yeah, that's in place. Okay, so we got those clicked in. Now we push this guy forward and align it just right, get it into the hole. Oh, wait, did I get it right? I don't know. <laughs> Trying to get it into the, stick it in there. Nope, missed. Where is it? Okay, hold on. <laughs> yeah. Let's try again. Gotta get it just right. There is the pin and the hole. Oh, I'm way off. Huh, that's what she said. Okay. Oh, there. Got that one. Now let's go over to the other side. Push that one. Okay. There, those two are in place. Okay, whew, all right, uh, yep, there, there, that's in place. Okay, next, can I get this? Let's see, which one's which? Uh, this one, yes, this one goes over here. Okay, so there's a little pin it goes in that little hole and then this little piece goes right in there so you gotta get that just right align that just right and then oh didn't get it just right shoot i missed Come on. There, i think i got it yeah i gotta push that oh there oh there's that oh no okay that needs to go there shoot there okay there and there. Okay. 
then this guy goes like that. Okay, now we gotta get the other side. Oh, wait, I think we can actually start to do this side. Let's try it. Okay, this thing, see it's kind of like rigid here. We have to stretch that. By the way, this is really hard to do with one hand. Down here, ah, there. And hook it under that. Okay, then this is all Velcro. Yep, yep. Okay, Velcro, Velcro. And then get that pin. Oh, man. Uh, I might need two hands for this. Oh, I missed. Come on. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Then pop that. That. And this one down here. Okay, got those. Whew, got that one. And these three. Okay. Now to the other side. This guy. Alright. Get that the right way. Make sure that thing's flipped up. Insert that there. Stick it in the hole. Okay. And clip you in. Oh, didn't quite get it. Oh, look, before we do that, I gotta flip this up. Shoot. Otherwise, we'll never get that. Okay. Oh, there. There. I think. There. Okay. Ah, there. Okay. Again, flip the rigid part, tuck it under that thing, there's that, velcro, 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 there, okay, button, 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 and finally, button, holy crap, alright, shut the lid, and we sort of have a convertible. <laughs> Now we can actually wash it. It only took eight minutes. <laughs> this, this car is just ridiculous. Uh, yeah, you don't exactly like accidentally buy a Mercy Lago, just like you don't accidentally buy a Ferrari 355, especially the convertible Mercy Lago. It is uh, interesting. Oh, and let me tell you, driving it down the road, that top literally does nothing to quiet any noise whatsoever. That is the loudest car on the inside I've ever driven that is stock. This is totally stock and it's so loud in there. <laughs> it's like you are not having a comfortable, quiet conversation in there. You are having to talk pretty loud if you want to have a conversation. Anyway, uh, let's wash it and uh, we'll see how well it seals for the water. I'm obviously not gonna want to spray directly where the window meets because I don't think it's gonna seal very well. <laughs> funny on the inside of that uh, of the roof the top it says do not go over 100 miles an hour I don't think you want to attempt that fate all right let's clean it up and see how Hoovy's hoopty looks with the bath all right YouTube she's all clean it looks pretty good a few flaws but you know it's a Hoovy car and it's a driver's car I mean let's be real it's a driver's quality car it's actually in pretty darn good shape for a driver's quality car 20,000 something miles or just under 20,000 we'll make sure it has over 20,000 because I mean, I'm going to drive it. <laughs> I'm going to be real. Uh, these cars are absolutely stupid. There's no reason to ever own one except for I want one so bad and I want to own one so bad. So I'm going to take this opportunity. Anyway, uh, let's get the top off because it looks kind of strange with the toupee on. So I guess uh, reverse order. Uh, pop off these guys maybe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Nice. Oh, yep, yep, there. All that. Okay, pop this thing. Yeah, push there, there. All right. Yeah, we're gonna have to dry these all off. They're all wet. Let's go to the other side. 
Removal's a lot easier. I like removal. Don't like installation. Pop. And oh, well, these ones aren't cooperating. There we go. One, two, three. Fold. Pull. Come up there. Okay. Those are off. Push in. Ooh, this one's a little tighter. There. Okay. And remove. Okay. Now let's fold that guy in there. Just going to push it in. All right. There, there. there. Okay, now pop that one out and the other one. Okay. drying to do now that that's gone. A little bit damp here. Close our little door. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Okay. There we have it. Oh, yep. Shut this. Ta-da! Alright, nice and clean. Well, if you're like me and you want to own this batshit car, well, feel free to make an offer. Send us an email, sales at ngsupercars.com. <laughs> I kind of don't want it to go, but don't, don't rush to it. Just, you know, take your time. I'm fine if this thing sits around for a little bit. I'll go enjoy it a few more times. Probably gonna go drive it right now. That's it for this video. Just wanted to show you the toupee installation and removal. Kind of pain in the ass, but not the worst. And we'll see you guys in the next video. It's gonna be sweet.